Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at gayon din magandang araw sa mga kasama nating uh, sumasamba sa Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng uh, live streaming sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. What a beautiful uh, way to start this new week and new uh, month, the month of March, especially in the context of Lent with a beautiful, joyful, joyful and positive note of God's greatness and mercy as we have heard in the readings today, both in the readings today. What a more reassuring thought to be encountering and being uh, guided by a merciful God. Be merciful as your Father in heaven is merciful. And uh, that image of a prodigious Father who gives, who forgives, And uh, the first reading today uh, is equally very uh, inspiring and provides an inspiring picture of God. The prophet uh, recognizes first and foremost that God is God, meaning in this re recognition of who this God is, is the first act of faith that is uh, uh, true and proper. With that, it does not only uh, define uh, God for who He is, but also recognize Him for what He has done for us. God is just, faithful, benevolent, and He remains such as such for all time. According to scholars, if you look at the, the uh, what is said here, it is said in the present tense, all now, although this was written in the in the past, but it is written in the present tense, expressing precisely this thing that God is for all time, for all season, a, remains a merciful God. And uh, this is the first moment actually of every prayer before God or in any case any reference to Him meaning the recognition of Him who is our God and then of what He has done for us and that is the first part actually of all prayers, our mass also, is our recognition of, Christ, of God's presence and goodness in our midst. That's why the, the opening greeting of the priest is, the Lord be with you. No? Meaning it's an affirmation of God's presence in our gathering in the spirit of prayer and it is not possible to reverse the hierarchy of values for example putting before this truth of god as the number one consideration of every prayer and if we reverse it by putting our interest our own story of misery or even of our of our life it cannot be it is always god 
as number one. So, this is the number one thing, truth in every prayer, that as we approach God, it is the recognition. The first is the recognition of Him who loves us. Because otherwise, what's the point? Do you come and approach God out of fear only or out of what dread? No. We come recognizing His goodness. For otherwise, it would be terrorism, I would say, our relationship with God. If we approach Him only out of fear or out of, of terror. The second moment in the relationship or even in our uh, meeting with God is also our recognition of our failings, our being rebellious, our failings and the shame because we have sinned. And it is interesting again to note, according to the experts of the Bible, that the vocabulary or the verb that is used is expressed precisely in past tense, meaning God, it seems, is ready always to look and leave in the past our failings while His mercy is always in the present tense. This is our confession, this is our recognition, although secondary, is also necessary. However, it must always be done not through a withdrawal on ourselves, but always an attitude with an attitude of confident confidence in Him who loves us. So, if uh, God's nature is love who forgives, Christians must always be like Him, especially in this account, in terms of understanding and mercy. Maybe a good Lenten exercise in order to uh, be more understanding and compassionate towards others as the gospel today asked us we who follow the merciful God maybe a good exercise is to see and realize our own failures weaknesses and sinfulness that we are, after all, like others, fallible, needing understanding and compassion. People who are so quick to judge, no? it's interesting to, to see, for example, in social media, comments, judgments on others whom they do not know. They just see an appearance or this or that and they make so much negative judgment on people. Probably these are people who do not know themselves. For if one knows himself or herself she would be more, we would be more circumspect and cautious in dealing with others. That's why the great philosopher Socrates thought and said, to know 
thyself is the beginning of wisdom. And such knowing of ourselves would be doubly meaningful and refreshing if it is done in the light of our faith and our loving relationship with the merciful God. So in this Mass, as we continue our journey in this Lenten season, it is important to start convincing ourselves of God's mercy to move us to also towards conversion of uh, recognizing our own failures and hopefully in recognizing our own failures and shortcomings and our sinfulness enable us also to be more compassionate also towards others. May God, who is merciful and compassionate, have mercy on us and teach us and lead us and give us the strength to be compassionate towards others. Amen.